Ooh. talked about it before. Speed dating, where a bunch of strangers meet and talk with each other one at a time for a few minutes or so. Promoters say it's a great way for you to meet someone. Anyone can do this. You can meet yeah. someone special. So now they're adapting it to different groups of people. In this case, nerds. Take a look. So I want to welcome all of you to, uh, to Nerd Night Speed Dating. Nerd Night is a monthly event night that we run in about 30 cities across the world. Basically, the girls stay in one place, guys have three minutes to talk to them, they rotate from table to table. I want everyone here to just relax. We're here to meet friends. Being a nerd is kind of sexy now. I mean, you got smart, witty, you come back quick, you know how to have a good time, passionate. What's there not to like? Uh, what's your favorite okay, thing that you use every day? I'm just in love with Apple, honestly. I have never been speed dating before. I have a thing for nerds. I like guys with with always an intellectual look in them and that know more about computers than I do. Nerds of all types get together and they get to talk about their subject of interest. We've had people of all walks of life, grad students, people who study history or science or you can be a sports nerd. On your mark, get set, speed date. This is a good thing because it's just hard to meet people and this kind of like cuts to the chase really fast. In an instant, you can find out if you're the same kind of likes or dislikes, if you're a Mac or a PC. <laughs> I'm a secret nerd because people don't think it. I had my own internet company. I'm now an investor. I'm always the first person to try out a new gadget, and uh, so I think that qualifies me as a nerd. Have you been to Nerd Night, like a regular Nerd Night? I've been to Nerd Night uh, religiously for like the past two years. I'm nerdy, and I like to do nerdy things and meet like-minded people. I'm looking to uh, meet my match tonight. I'm doing a little bit of eavesdropping. Uh, what makes you a nerd? Uh, I am a... <laughs> I love Star Wars. Really? You love Star Wars? I love Star Wars. And uh, I can tell people are having an easy conversation. They're, it's like, it's a, it's a group of witty people. So you can tell that like they're just having a good time. That's, That's it. it. Right, well, it was nice talking to you, I definitely did find a match. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure I met my match, but it, it makes you realize like the diversity of people that are out there. Some of them got creative and made me blush a little bit, and that's always fun. Whether it's a good date, a bad date, if a guy gets you to blush a little bit, I think it's worth it. I can at least count on more than two hands. The number of people in very long-term committed relationships as a specific direct result of meeting at Nerd Night. So apparently whatever we're doing it is working. It works. Joining us now is CNET.com senior editor Bridget Carey. She helped host the event. Self-admitted nerd, no? Yes, yes, yes I nerded it up. <laughs> and thought of it. <laughs> How did it, I mean, it looked, I mean, you talk about a, a great turnout. Yeah. How difficult is it? Do you have to limit the number of people there? Is there such a mass response, or what do you have to do? Yes, yes, there are tickets. They sell out fast, too, especially with the girls. They will buy tickets in an instant. Guys kind of drag their feet, but it still sells out. <laughs> and, yeah, there's, like, you know, a set number of girls and guys. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, he heard one of the the gentleman in the pink shirt there. I forget his name. I'm sorry, but he was saying you can count, you know, on at, at least two hands or not, if not more, long term relationship he knows of that have come out of these nerd night events. I mean, is it something that that you would recommend, having hosted one, having been there for it? Yeah, I mean, first of all, this is, these are not your Urkel kind of nerds, right. if, as you saw. <laughs> They're smarter. <laughs> yeah, it's really just a bunch of intellectuals getting together. We all have a little nerd in us, whether yeah. you're a book nerd or sports nerd. Um, it's just finding someone to have passionate, engaging conversations with and. If you happen to also like Star Trek, bonus points, yeah. <laughs> right? Star Trek or Star Wars. If your nickname is, is Obi Wan, you know you're right. Then you're, you're totally, right in. you're totally in. Sean, the one guy that we saw there who did answer one question, you know, I've been coming religiously for two years. Probably not. I mean, honesty is probably your best policy, but I don't know if the whole I've been doing this for two years was the greatest response. <laughs> Do some people need to kind of condition their answers a little bit better? Exactly. You know, it's all about really uh, telling someone, you know, what makes you passionate and, yeah. and getting to know someone in three minutes isn't always easy either. Yeah. yeah. But it's great. No, it looks, it, I, I think it's a great story. A lot of fun. Thanks for bringing it to us this morning. Yeah, thanks. When's the next one? Um, I think they have them every couple of months. So, yeah, if the, you look get online. A, are you going to host one again? Uh, if they ask me, yeah. You should ask her back. <laughs> Definitely. Put her on the spot and see if she found a love connection. No, we won't do that. <laughs> we'll ask her in the break. <laughs> Bridget, Bridget, thanks. Thank you.